Hey guys, welcome back to the Transport Bandit channel. I'm Mr. Dimples, or Jeff to you non-biker types. <laughs> and I'm Cheryl. Today we're going to talk to you about how we get our fuel discounts. Now, the fuel discounts haven't been great lately, so you need to know how to get the very best out of it. It takes a little bit of time and a little bit of effort. But if you've got a wonderful wife like me, you can do it easily. <laughs> what about all the transporters out there that um, don't have a team driver with them who has the time to put into this? They need to do it on their 30 minute break or when they stop the night before, right? They, need, yeah. they so, need to put the effort into finding where that cheapest fuel along your route would be. To me, without a wife, they're just out of luck. <laughs> right? Right. I mean, without Cheryl, I'd be paying fortunes for diesel. <laughs> yeah, you would just, you would be not on your route most of the time because you don't know where you're at. <laughs> no. <I> probably <laughs> wouldn't even be buying diesel. <laughs> you would probably put gasoline in your diesel truck. Yeah, who knows? <laughs> no, they would never do that. But anyway, today we're going to show you how we get our fuel discounts with Synergy. Um, our company is Synergy, and remember, if you're going to apply to Synergy, put Transport Bandits down on your referral, on your application, because this is how we do it through Synergy RV Transport. But you know, I think this method of locating fuel discounts it's would time work. Consuming. I think I think it's pretty universal. I think it'll work with most people. But this is a great way to do it. It's how you get the very best discount on your route. So there's no questioning, well, could I get it cheaper down the road? No, you'll know. I'm going to show you how we use an app to go with our email from Synergy all the way to using the calm data card at the pumps. Let's get into it. So we have an app that you can download onto your phone. It's called Trucker Path. This is what it looks like right here. Download that to your phone. It's a free app. You can you can upgrade and pay more for some extra services, but you don't need to do that. You can use it for free. Trucker Path. First thing you want to do is open up a trucker folder that's showing truck where you keep your Trucker Path app. Open Trucker Path, and you're going to see it come up as an overall map. It's going to show a whole lot of uh, way stations, truck stops rest areas so what we you're going to do is just move off of that until you find a blue dot you see that little blue dot right there that's us on the trucker path app you will notice a w or the little picnic area a p or these t's which are truck stops that's a way station that's a rest stop use your fingers to enlarge and we're going to check out on our route today. I noticed that there is a pilot station. That's what we're looking for. And I will click on the pilot station. That's going to pull up Pilot Travel Center number 29. It's on I-80 at exit 357 in 75 miles in Fremont, Indiana. Now I can also click on Pilot Travel Center and it'll bring me up some general information our main information we want to know is that it is number 29, but if I scroll down, it'll say that uh, the marquee price is 535. If it has showers or parking spots available, um, if there are scales there, and then it'll show you a picture of Google Maps, and you can click on that, and it will open it up, and you can see what kind of parking they have. So you can always look to see if it's a large parking area or a small parking area where you might be wanting to stay for the evening. For right now, we're just going to go back out of it and just show you that we want the information Pilot Travel Center number 29 in Fremont, Indiana. Now with Synergy, every other day about, or about twice a week, they will send you an email of a spreadsheet for our fuel discounts. They will send you a spreadsheet for Pilot and Flying J. 
and then a couple days later they may send you another email for TA or Petro and in another once a week usually they will send out a fuel discount spreadsheet for Sap Brothers and if you don't know what Sap Brothers is that's a little lesser known uh, travel plaza truck stop in the Midwest but for this purposes for this video we're going to use the Pilot Flying J fuel discount email that Synergy has sent us. You want to open up your email and open up your PDF on the email that is your spreadsheet for your fuel discounts. This is what your spreadsheet will look like and you want to disregard the numbers to your left on the first column which is that number there and go by these numbers here. Those are the store numbers. Now our pilot was Pilot 29. Now usually if we're traveling a longer distance or whatever, I've wrote down all the pilot stations on our route between Goshen and wherever we happen to be going. They would look like that. I put a P for the pilot, a J for the Flying J's, where they're located and what store number they are. So when I look up their fuel discount rate, it will be over here on this left hand side and I can compare all the prices. Keep in mind that there may not be any discount at all on that particular station you're looking at. It's all up to the particular station and what discount they're offering. So if the marquee price is like $5.29 and you may see that the fuel discount is only $5.20. So we keep looking. So the next thing I want to do is go back to my trucker path and find out how many miles it's going to take me and it will direct me right to the pilot station in Fremont, Indiana. So I have my pilot travel center number 25 in Fremont, Indiana. Sorry this is Wiggly. We are on the road. You'll have to forgive me. We'll click on the P. Oh, that's Johnny's. Wrong one. Pilot's Travel Center, you'll notice it's 64 miles. I'm going to click on the blue button for 64 miles. It will show this screen and I'm going to choose Direction by Other Apps. And then this will pop up at the bottom. I'll use Google Maps. And it will come up. This is what I want to drive. It'll take me 55 minutes to get there. Press Start. And you have your directions to that pilot station in Fremont, Indiana. So let's go to Fremont. We are now traveling to Fremont, Indiana. You saw what our spreadsheet price was. The marquee price said that it was supposed to be $5.29. We're supposed to be getting it for $4.58. That was the spreadsheet from the email. They said that what discount we would get that was sent out last Friday. Well, it's been a couple of days and the price has gone up. So we want to double check to see if that price is somewhere around there. If that's the case, we can always look at our Synergy app called FuelBook. And this is another way to find um, your discount at a faster rate. It just is not as comprehensive as looking at the spreadsheet. It's not near as comprehensive. You type it, you'll go to download the FuelBook app and then type in your uh, current destination, your current location to your destination point and it will show you the 10 cheapest places along your route. So let's take a look at that. It'll have your current location, just type in your destination or it will ask you to select the route. Make sure that's the route that you're traveling. If it is not the route that you're traveling and you're going a different way, just don't have it go all the way to your destination. Just go from point A to point B. So our spreadsheet said that we would get it for $4.58. Well, now we know that's wrong because FuelBook is more up to date on the prices. And so in that case, it's use it in conjunction FuelBook with your spreadsheet to make sure you're staying on top of things. It says that it is now at that pilot station $4.58. 65 cents I think it said and then that is the current price that it is right now that's what our fuel discount that's what we will pay although it will not be that on the marquee and it will not be that on the pumps and it will not say that on your receipt 
stay tuned and I'll show you how that works. So when we get to Fremont, Indiana, stay tuned because the next time you're going to see me, we're going to show you how to use your Com Data card to get that fuel discount. We have made it to Fremont to the pilot station right there. Let's see what's on the marquee price. So the uh, marquee price for the credit card is $535, cash is $529 for diesel. Now this, at this point, you want to turn into the trucker pumps. I know Cheryl said you wanted to pull into the trucker pumps, but you don't. The first thing you want to do is pull into the store. Use your keychain that I know you have. Get you a free tiny frosty. There you go. And while you're in there, pick up whatever fuel line it is you need. Then you're set. Okay, so now, after you've made your initial pit stop into the store part, pull into the trucker pumps around the back or the side, wherever the trucks are getting their diesel at. All right, so this is what I'm going to be using today. A Ford Motocraft sea tank boost. I use that in every tank. But then I'm going to be using wow. the Lucas Complete Fuel Treat. It comes in two size bottles. And just treat your tank according to the directions on the bottle. And I use that about every other tank. It lubricates everything good and cleans things up. Bandit tip. Are you putting these in the tanks before you even start at the pump? Is that right? Absolutely. Because you want the you want it mixed up in there good. Put it in before you put your fuel in, then it'll get mixed up. Now you want to use your cleaner and sea tank booster every tank. Whatever brand you choose. I use Motocraft in my Ford, but you can use uh, Hot Shot Secret, Power Service, any of that stuff. You want to use that in every tank. The Lucas fuel conditioner and the injector cleaner, I do that about every other tank. Okay, now we are ready to use our cards on the diesel pumps. So the first card you want to put in is your comp data card. Or your EFS card. So to put your comp data card in, remove card quickly. One moment, please. Now use your rewards card. Your pilot flying J. You'll have you might have another card. Get rewards card everywhere you go. That's going to get you free showers with every fill up. So I'm going to put my rewards card in. Put your cards away. Make sure you don't lose them. All right. Then it says, come here, Jeff. I can see it. Enter vehicle number. Uh -huh. Just make up a number. Let's do one. And then press enter when done. One moment, please. Next product. We don't want any other product, so we are going to choose tractor every time. Choose tractor because you're filling up your truck like a semi-truck tractor. All right. We don't want anything here, so we're going to skip that. We don't want any DEF. You may want DEF. We don't need that. Now you're going to enter your driver ID number. Press enter. One moment, please. We don't want a cash advance. If you do, you would hit that. So we are just going to press enter. Skip it. One moment, please. Do I want additional products? No. One moment, please. I don't need that. I'm going to continue. One moment, please. And we are begin ready to fuel up. Sorry if I was so close to the camera. It's windy out here. We have trucks on either side of us, so there's a lot of background noise, and I wanted you to make sure that you could hear my voice. So that's why we had to do it so close. Now the trick to this is a simple. The price you pay here on the pump, it'll show the marquee price, like the 535. 
And then when you get your receipt, it'll show like you're paying five dollars and thirty-five cents a gallon. You have to wait until they take it out of your Tom data card to see what you actually paid. That's where your discount comes out at. Uh, here's another little tip for you. When you're filling up your auxiliary tank, it makes a mess. Come on guys, we all know that. And your lady friends don't like that diesel mess. And quite frankly, I don't like it either. So I keep a rag between some micro fiber cloth. I just lay it right there on top of my fuel tank. So I just leave it there. But that's because we have a tonneau cover. It's not gonna blow off. Yeah. So I keep it right there. And then when I'm done fueling, I can take that rag and wipe up my mess. Let me tell you guys, it's way, way, way more pleasant filling up out here when it's 78 degrees and not 20 below. What do they want to use if it is 20 below? If it's like minus 20, they want to add something else to their tank. Yeah. You're going to want to use anti-gel and plenty of it. Not the 911. The 911 is for emergencies. Why it's called 911. Just use anti-gel. And if you can, and if it's that cold, if it gets below zero, Try to find number one diesel if you're in an area that sells it. That stuff is not going to freeze up. But you do need to add some lubrication to that fuel because it's so dry, it's bad for your motor. All right, guys, we have a 118-gallon auxiliary tank. I have two methods to put fuel in the truck with it. I can do gravity feed, or I've got an electric pump hooked up to my overhead toggle switch. And they can do that at Dan Service Center. I sure can. Now this tank says it's 118 gallons. Some days I can fit 115 in it. Some days I can fit 123. I don't know why. This is our Ford fifth wheel hitch, and we have the toolbox. If you're interested in any of this, don't get it done at Jimbo's garage. Come to Dan's service center. He'll mount your fire extinguisher in there for you, your 118 gallon fuel tank. This is a long bed F Ford 350, 2019. And so far, so good with everything that we've had done to it. Hey guys, if you're thinking about getting into this business and you don't have your truck yet, get a long wheelbase, you know? You just got so much more room back here to put all your stuff, and it tows better. What is going on there? What is happening? I don't understand this. This is awful. This is awful. Look at this. Even with our fuel discount, their fuel prices are ridiculous. Yeah, and listen. Uh oh. Listen. Listen to me out there. You know whose fault this is. <laughs> Don't blame it on everybody else. Don't blame it on Putin. You know whose fault this is. All right. Calm down, big boy. Is this our final numbers? No. I'll squeeze every drop I can in there. I wish I had another one of these in the back of my truck. Well, you can. You, Dan's can fit you another one in there. Yeah, and I may do that. That's All just right, a... now I'll take my handy dandy rag, clean up. And now, in the winter time when it's really cold, you want to clean these threads, okay? You clean these threads. Because trust me, you don't want to spend 30 minutes trying to get this cap off like I did when it's 25 below. Keep those threads clean of diesel. But when that diesel gels up on there, it's not like jelly. It's more like epoxy. All right, the final step. The final step. You walk around the other side of your truck. Your wife will hand you a handy wipe, and you will clean your hands. 
this will make her happy. Clean those hands. <laughs> Don't get in the truck with those hands. I'll get you a handy wipe right now. And this was our final statement. Holy cow, that's crazy. Don't use the washer fluid to clean your hands. <laughs> no. That will make her unhappy, yes. all right? Don't use washer fluid to clean Trust your hands. Trust me, I know this. <laughs> I know it from personal experience. If you use that used washer fluid to wash your hands, it will make her unhappy. Very. Go around the truck and get you a handy wipe. <laughs> All right, let's clean up. That's why you always want to keep wet ones right in your door panel. Get those hands clean. Yeah, fellas, you don't want to smell like diesel. As much as you love the diesel smell, and I love the way diesel smells, for some reason, ladies don't appreciate that. Yeah, not in the truck. We are back in the truck now, headed down the road, and it appears as though we paid $789 for 148.9 gallons. That's what it showed on the pump. That's what it showed on our receipt. But we didn't actually pay that much because we are going to check our comp data card here as soon as that gets loaded, which could be anywhere from five minutes to two hours on down the road. We're going to see how much they took out of our comp data card is what we actually paid for that fuel. Did we pay? The older price of $4.58 for the discount, which was on the spreadsheet, which was a couple of days old, or did we pay the $4.65 a gallon, which was on our fuel book? Or maybe it wasn't even that much. It's a toss-up, but we're going to see what kind of discount we got. But while we're waiting on that to be processed and to look at our Com Data card, and we're going to find out what kind of fuel discount we got. I just want to say a quick thank you to people who have put our names down, Transport Bandits or Cheryl Arnold or Jeff Arnold or our driver number down on the application for Synergy. They got hired on and now they're driving. Then you have to complete your first 5,000 safely loaded miles of delivery and we get a bonus for that. So I want to send out a special thank you, a shout out to Jason and Annie Grinnell, Mike and Susan Penland, Kent Stube, uh, Brandon Nunley, Crystal McMurray, Robert Elliott, thank you so much for putting our names down. We got those bonuses. We appreciate it. And we've got a track of a lot of you because you message me and you tell me that you put our names down. You got orientation coming up or you've already done it. You're working towards those 5,000 miles. You go get them. Thank you for giving that to us. And I am here to help you anytime you want. Just message me anytime and I'll be your personal concierge forevermore because you gave that gift to me I give that back to you okay, okay so it's like the next day we waited we had a lot of stuff to do as we got back to Goshen while we we're waiting for that charge to show up on our comp data card so this is how you check for that fuel discount check your comp data card and this is what they actually took out they took out six hundred and ninety three dollars and forty one cents off of our Com Data card. So that price of $789 that was on the pump, that doesn't apply. Right. So it's about $100 less. So thank you for your Com Data card as Santa Claus Christmas list. <laughs> right? You check that list and you check it twice. And you find out which station has been naughty or nice. <laughs> So, um, yeah, so the marquee said that it was, what, 535, right? Yeah. That's what the pump showed. That's what our receipt showed. Our comm data showed um, that uh, instead of it coming to $789, it came to 693 which made it $4.65 a gallon. That was our fuel discount, yeah. and that was the price Fuel Book told us it was because I told you you need to compare your spreadsheet against fuel book because fuel book is more updated to the day and our spreadsheet was a couple days old yeah but if you get your spreadsheet that morning it's usually that day you're yeah. good to go you're good to go on that day for sure but if it's if you got your spreadsheet for pilot and flying j a day or so ago yep. check it against that fuel book price that synergy provides you with Okay, if you like this video, please press that like button, subscribe to us. Jeff? 
subscribe. If you haven't already. How many times have I got to tell you? Every single time. If you don't tell them to subscribe, they'll wonder what's wrong with you. <laughs> and leave a comment down below if this was of any help to you, or even if it wasn't. Just say hi. And we are out of here. We are headed home and uh, going to take a week off and go to a bike rally. Uh, well, first of all, it's like this. We're going to get some sleep. We're going to do some maintenance on the truck. Then we're going to go to a bike rally. Yep. But then tell them where we're going. Alaska. We're headed to Alaska when we come back. Transport Bandits have a load going to Alaska. Uh, we may or may not do a video on that. Uh, I, I think we will. So stay tuned to the Transport Bandit channel. Thank you so much for watching. Transport Bandits, out. out.